up team. Um, currently at the airport, trying to get to my plane. Um, it's just leaving in like, I don't know, 45 minutes. But we're right in time. And then ready to go to Berlin and ship some tournaments. <laughs> Pretty excited, hopefully we can ship a bunch. Um, gonna play a bunch as well. Feeling good, feeling good. through the security check. Now I'm going to my gate. I'm ready to go to Berlin. Um, so I just leaving in I don't know, 40 minutes or so. Excited! Place knows we just busted. It was quite a swingy day, but I had so much fun. We started with like 15k was starting stack. Um, I got to my first table and it was really nice. It was a chatty table. Started talking with the guy to my right who actually knew me, who knew that I would that I work with uh, Upstream Poker together. It was pretty funny. So we talked a little bit and I won my first hand. Live poker players are really bad actually. <laughs> and I was like up to 20k then. Then um, I got moved to a new table. And, well, it was really interesting hand, actually. One guy raises, three other call, call as well, and then I call from a small blind with five dues of clubs. I know it's a little bit wide, but, I mean, I'm in a small blind, man. I don't have to call much. So the flop was five, four, four with two hearts. Everybody checks to the button. The button bets. I call. A guy from MP champs, like, two and a half times my, uh, my, like my bet. And I have to call, he had king nine of hearts and we held. At that point I had like 34k. It was absolutely cruising, man. I was like, man, I will ship this tournament, okay. But then I got moved again. No, actually first. We opened ace eight from middle position. The small blind flats. With ace three off, as we know later. And the flop was nine eight three. I see with my second pair. Um, just for protection and he raises us. And I'm like, what what is he raising? Yeah, like check ten or something? So I called. He checked the turn to us, and I was like, okay, we should for sure have the best hand. Maybe he has like 9-10 in slow places now a little bit, because he's scared of me having aces. So I put out a bet, and he called, and then the river, the three hits, and he checks, and I check it back, like snap check it, obviously. And yeah, he hit the two order, and we were down to like 25k, 22k. Right after that, I got moved to a new table again. And this time we open king queen from middle position. The guy to my left flats, and the, the little bit of an older woman flats as well. And flop is king nine six. No, king nine five. And um, I see bet both of them call. And then the turn is a five, and I check. And the guy to my left just champs it. And I was like, okay, this is a draw. And he had queen ten later. So. And yeah, so the woman calls as well. And I get like insane odds because both of them were quite short. So I got like, I don't know, I had to call at that point. I had to call like, I think 14k to win like 40k or something. Maybe more like 45k or so. It was really, really good odds. And I was like, oh God, I don't want to call, man. This old woman always have it. That's what everybody told me. And I tanked and tanked. And then I said like, maybe she has King, maybe she has King Jack. And 
Yeah, I ended up calling. She had, she had pocket nines. So we lost that and we let that down to 10k. And that was around, I don't know, 10 bigs, 12 bigs at that time. So we just blinded down a little bit. Then I called an MP champ for 10 big blinds in the big blind with King Queen. Doubled up versus checks. Fine hand was me having nines on the button for like 14 big blinds. I champed it and the small blind snapped me with ace nine and hit the ace on the flop. Always an ace, you know how it is. And that was pretty much it, but I had a lot of fun and that is like a great experience. I can't wait to play again tomorrow and hopefully we can crush. I um, also met like a really like three or four viewers of the stream, like really cool people. We just had a chat on breaks and like talked about everything and asked for some opinions of mine on certain things. And we just had a really, really good chat. So it was great to meet those guys. And yeah, can't wait for tomorrow, guys. Now we're just chilling. I don't know my brother's here and we will talk, maybe have a beer or something. Let's crush tomorrow. Let's go. What's up, team? Uh, we just got some burgers for lunch and now I'm just waiting for my brother to finish the shower so we can go to the event and you know, it's day two, yesterday was fun, I'm excited, let's chip some. Alright team, uh, I totally forgot to vlog today um, in the event, uh, I just made day 2, 170k, I absolutely crushed it, like we just opened everything and everybody folded all the time, I put out a 3 bet out of the big blind with 9-5 offsuit, just because we were like 30 minutes off the day and he just folded, you know, he snap folded, and I was just like crushing man, and like in heaven, like 170k, starting stack was 15k, yesterday I didn't make it, today we made day 2. Tomorrow we're playing like for around 40,000 euros, I guess. I'm still not sure. Um, I will know that later. But I'm really, really hyped right now. I think I played really, really well throughout the day. Also hit flops, obviously. But yeah, man, life poker is fun. It's a rein video. It's poker, Panther. Hey. <laughs> New team took a shower, got some nice breakfast. Now we're getting ready to go to the event. It's starting like one hour and 15 minutes. I'd rather be there a little bit earlier. I'm excited. Um, I feel pretty good though overall. I'm pretty confident. I think I played really well yesterday. The play opponents weren't that great, so I'm really motivated to crush today. And yeah, let's make it happen, guys. 180 left in Al Adams' place. It's a really fucking good spot. Like 40 of the money, and there's like 30 people with 10 big blinds. I think a bubble abuse. I mean, I have to see how hard I can abuse the bubble as a big stack because, as I said, there's a lot of guys with 10 big blinds. So. I just have to feel and see how it goes. Um, probably I will start opening wide and if people start chaining a lot on me, I will stop opening super wide. You'll see. That's my strategy for now. Let's crash. Yo team, we're riding from the, the hall. Just busted my van, now wait for a taxi. Um, got a little bit unlucky. I mean, I jammed threes in a small blind with some button open and he woke, woke up with... Um, with Wait one second, man, it's raining. With checks, like the big plan woke up with the checks, and like there was nothing I could do. I mean, it's profitable jam, and I had like 17 bigs, nothing I could do. We cashed for 3k, I'm quite happy with myself. I think I played really well throughout the tournament. Made some little mistakes due to inexperience, but I think we can fix that as well in the future and be ready to crush. So, yeah, right now I'm just going home, get the taxi, go to my brother's place. And then I will try to crush tomorrow again in the deep freeze. Good thing is we only used two entries into this tournament. I didn't play the turbo as well, so there will be a bunch of refunds in the package. So quite a profitable trip, like it's a profitable trip as of now. Let's try to crush tomorrow, guys. I mean, we did everything right, so there's nothing to be sad about. Let's do it tomorrow. Yo team, I'm in bed now. It was a sick fucking day, but I'm tired as hell. But on the other side, I'm hyped as well. As well? As well? As well? <laughs> so I'm really not sure. Uh, what to do right now, I guess we watch some TV shows and like try to fall asleep. Um, I'll be playing again tomorrow, hopefully we can crush there. Today was like kind of sad and kind of happy, it's in between there. I mean, I think like the chair was correct that it, unfortunately that big man wakes up with checks. And I mean 3000 is a nice cash, first place was 44k though. So it's like mixed feelings right now, but you know, I'm a poker player. I, <laughs> I made the right decision, that's all that matters. So hopefully you can do good to, again tomorrow. On my way to the second event, I mean I planned to play the $330 turbo yesterday, but since we made a deep run on the October 1st I couldn't play that one. I are just burning right now where my brother lives. My brother actually lives in one of like the, in actually the most dangerous area in Berlin. So yesterday we took a cab home, um, you know I had like 3k with me, so <laughs> it's not the amount of money I wanna 
uh, like have around here. Um, today I have like the event is a $330 deep freeze um, with like I don't know unlimited re-entries. I have I sold for like the entry and another bullet. I think you need, don't need much more than that in life events anyhow. Wait, let me quickly switch to swap hands. There we go. Um, since I know my place just really slow and people are so bad that just really unlikely to bust the bullet. I feel we I mean, maybe just ran really good. I mean, I still had some really nasty spots yesterday. We had like 800k, and then the guy made a horrible hero car, in my opinion. But you know me, I always say that's horrible, but I'm pretty sure that one wasn't good. And then the other one was that, um, um, yeah, we have a double barrel to set. Actually, meant for a third barrel when the flash hit on the river. A small barrel though, and he jammed. I folded, he shot the flash. I made a huge mistake on the second street, obviously, because. I, don't, I didn't give him like, nearly the odds he needed to call there, but he was a fish, so what can you do? Mm. But so far, life book is a really good experience. I enjoy it. You know, I'm really open. I, I try to be really open and have like, nice talks with the chat. Made some buddies there, you know, and it's just really cool when you talk to people and you know, just enjoy your time while making some money. I mean, isn't that the life? Isn't that the fucking life? It's super freaky windy now, so I hope the sound is still okay. If not, nothing you can do about it. <laughs> I just have this little video camera, that's all I have with me. Um, what's the other thing I want to talk about? Yeah, it's quite interesting, man. Like, this is like the Cod Busta Tor, it's called, like the Cody. And there's some, there's like so many different people here. Like, all nations, all fucking religions, all. Like, every person is here that you ever saw before. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And right now I just try to catch my subway or like my train I guess, my cable car, whatever you want to call it uh, to the event and hopefully you can do good in this $30, $30 tournament it's a 30k guaranteed so not too huge but I think it will be well, like the guarantee hit is like hit the guarantee I think there will, there will be a lot of players there like 60k in payouts is definitely reasonable I think um, but we'll see so yeah keep you updated guys let's crush Sorry team for the lack of updates after we busted the 330 euro tournament. I just got pretty sick and didn't feel good at all. So I kind of skipped the updates in the video um, and just slept for two days pretty much. <laughs> um, so yeah, what happened? Basically we played the 330 euro tournament. From the start it just didn't work out, like nothing went my way. I had to fold aces on like a check high flop, it wasn't that draw. It was the right decision though. And you know, I got three bad flat with the checks. Flop was green high, caught the flop bet on the turn. I had to fold to the second barrel, just like pre standard spots. And in the end, I busted, um, making a triple barrel with two pair. And he had a flush on the river. Um, yeah, for me, like, I, I got like really bad nosebleed during the session, which was really weird. I've never had like nosebleed like that. Um, I just played and suddenly I was like, man, what is going on with my nose? And I was sitting there, you know, with the towel in front of my fucking face and the dealer showed me my cards and everything. It was really weird. I had like headache, didn't feel good at all. And so, and I busted out like five hands later, which was actually quite good. I mean, I could have rebought with like 40 bigs, but as I said, I didn't feel good at all at that point. So, didn't take that shot anymore and just went home instantly, went to bed and slept. I don't know what was going on with me. I felt like a little bit tired when I go to get, went to the event that day, but I thought I was okay, but apparently not. Um, I mean, I was sleeping like I'm sleeping for like six days now on the floor of my brother's place, um, which is like kind of exhausting. I mean, today's the last day. I'm driving home today, or flying home, and then I have my normal bed again, everything back in order. But yeah, that's what basically happened. Um, the last days I didn't do much, I went out a little bit, got like some food and shit, but didn't do any sightseeing, didn't play poker, I was just sitting in bed pretty much, watched some Netflix, some nice documentaries, Planet Earth by the way, not bad, not bad, and yeah, right now I'm going like to grab some food for my brother, because he's working over there, so wait, I can show you the place right now a little bit, so you can see at least a little bit of Berlin here, so this is like some kind of river, my brother works, works behind there and lives over there, up in the house like that. So it's, it's not a bad, bad base. Good team. 
I'm leaving Berlin now. Try the last shots. It's been a cool trip. Let's fucking go. We'll crash the final table next time. I'm excited. Fucking home guys. It's like I don't know 11 p.m. now. I'm fucking tired. I'm a little bit sick. Gonna make a tea now. And then um, I don't know. I will hit the bed probably. Still want to do like a YouTube video now. So you guys have an upload today. Um, this vlog will be coming up tomorrow I think because I'm just way too tired to like edit a video now and make it like good. So yeah, you will probably watch this tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed it though. This little vlog from my Berlin trip, trip, which was fucking insane. Don't forget to subscribe down below, guys. I would really appreciate that because I'm putting a lot of time into these uh, videos and every support is appreciated. I'll catch you on the fed, guys. Good luck at the tables.